Chapter 6 Trafalgar Square For a square, it looks pretty round to me, with fountains in the middle and a road running around it. When Aunt Pam said that we'll be going to Piccadilly Circus, I was really excited, really looking forward to seeing clowns and elephants. Then Aunt Pam told me that in England, circuses are circles. We get on a bus. I'm so glad they call it a bus, too. It's a great bus, a double-decker. There's no roof on the top. Rushing up to the top level, I get seats near the front. Aunt Pam joins me. Honey, put on your baseball cap, your sunglasses, and suntan lotion. Don't forget that we promised your mom that we'd make up a scrapbook of this trip. Your camera, notepad, and pen are in your knapsack. I was hoping that she'd forgotten about the scrapbook. Tomorrow, Aunt Pam says, we'll have a chance to see some places up close. Today, we'll have an overview. I scratch at my arm again. And when we get back to the apartment, I mean flat, can we go to the drugstore and get some bug bite spray? She nods. Remind me, sometimes aunts forget. I grin at her. She grins back. You know, I just love doing things with you. It's so nice when you come stay with me, and now I'm really glad to show you London. We sit in the bus waiting for more passengers to get on. A family gets on. A mother, a father, and a little girl. Wouldn't it be fun if Mommy and Daddy were here too, I ask? Aunt Pam takes off her sunglasses and looks as if she wants to say something about what I've just said. I decide to talk before she has the chance to give me the lecture about how my parents love me very much, about how they just didn't love each other anymore, about how they're never going to get back together again. Aunt Pam, I quickly say, I really want to get a special souvenir for Justin. What do you think I should get him? She blinks and then thinks for a minute. I wait to see if she's going to talk about my parents or about the present for Justin. Shrugging, she puts her sunglasses back on and smiles. She puts her sunglasses back on, smiles and says, There are a zillion souvenir places around. I'm sure that we'll find him something wonderful. The bus tour begins. She kisses the top of my head and then takes the lens cap off my camera. I take pictures of everything. Westminster Abbey, the Houses of Parliament, the Tower of London. It's so exciting. I, Amber Brown, am seeing in person all of the things we studied in school. We drive up to Buckingham Palace. The guide tells us that it has a nickname, Buck House. He also tells us that the flag is not on the top of the palace because the regent is not home. I'm going to start doing that at my house. I'll fly my Yankees baseball pennant that I got when my father took me to the game, to a game. I keep taking pictures. There's so much to see. I can't wait until tomorrow when we will actually be able to go into some of the places we're looking at now. Some guy keeps standing in front of me just as I get ready to take a picture. When my film gets developed, I bet that I'm going to have a lot of photos of the back of his head to put in my scrapbook. The bus pulls back into its spot at Trafalgar Square. Off we go, Aunt Pam, Aunt Pam says, getting out of the bus. Nap time, I ask, scratching again. Bug spray time? Almost. She puts her hands over my eyes. But first, I want you to see something. I can hardly wait.